Making sure we're asking the right question, because if you ask the right question, it will lead to the right service and it will lead to the best outcome. What, what is the library going to be? Where are we going to be on the other end? Um, are we just a space that has a lot of books on the shelf that people come in and pick up their holds? Or, as I believe and I know a lot of us believe, are we a place where there's opportunity for community and for young people to engage and be provided with leadership roles and take leadership roles? I kind of like Teen Central. If you've never been there, it's a very nice place. But Teen Central, is, um, it's a very nice open place. And I mean, I think the library can learn a few things about it. It gets along really nicely because everybody can come in, they can talk to each other. There's a lot of communication and it helps build people in the community. I believe we need adults to invest in us because it gives us more encouragement. It also gives us a sense of security, I believe. You know, just having someone mentor you and support you, knowing that they believe that you really can make it, that you really can become what you want to be, or you really can make a difference, or you really can improve your skills or your talents, you know. Just having that mentor there, adult there, um, throughout that whole process really helps. You know, libraries have always been involved in working with kids in, in that time that is out of school. So after school, weekends, evenings, and I think we've taken a more intentional approach now really saying that we have a critical role to play in students being successful, not just in graduation, but as they prepare for their life. I think especially with the YPQA as a chance to, using that as a chance to look at how we do programming and what elements go into a good program, what elements should come out of a good program. I think the hardest part about being responsive to the community needs is that sometimes we just want to get the information because we're librarians and we're all about information. And so we'll do a survey or we'll go out and we'll try to get opinions. But if it's out of context, it oftentimes doesn't fly. You might take a survey and it said that everyone wanted this program, but then you have that program that they asked for and nobody shows up. Uh, and that can be frustrating, but I think what works in programs that do take off is that it's more than just a survey, it's you know this community and you've spent time with them and you have a chance to interact with them on a, a daily or weekly basis. To come into the space, to the event, and see what young people are doing without having a background in youth development or without having no know, knowing how the planning happened, you just think, wow, like this came together like pretty amazingly. This is amazing. But the piece that you don't see are the hours that the library staff spent with young people, helping them think, okay, well, what happens next? Well, how are we gonna plan this? Well, what do you wanna have happen? And encouraging and supporting young people in taking the leadership roles. If the libraries don't care about the youth, who's gonna care about the youth, really? And that really comes down to that. And if no one cares about the youth, that's like saying no one cares about the future. So this has been really exciting. The county has taken on as a countywide initiative that every student graduate high school. And this is involving departments across the county, the community corrections, the county attorney, the library, North Point Medical Center, number and other departments are joining together so that we're making sure that anytime the county interacts with the student, part of our objective is to make sure they have the resources to graduate. Kids go to school for a certain period of time and they know that they're supposed to learn in that period of time but all learning doesn't happen at school. And so these other out of school time opportunities help to enhance the whole child and not just, oh, I've got to learn how to read, how to write and do math, but how do I also learn critical thinking and being able to interact in a drama class or coordination skills and dancing or, or just any social skills as well. And that's where A-Grad came in to the picture to try to help support that vision and give them the tools, best practices other information and support that they needed to be able to get to where they are now. I think there is a huge relationship between the library sustainability and the work that our partners are doing in the community. It's much harder and it takes much more work to reach outside of your own organization 
to look across the community to partners who are doing this work and who share similar missions. Without our partners moving this work together for us, then, then it is just the library's work. And then um, down the road, there isn't um, the kind of excitement and program change and real outcomes for young people unless you look across the systems. For instance, with our homework help, we don't want to just know that students can finish their homework. We want to know that by coming into getting, and getting homework help, it's leading to graduation. So we want to make sure we're making outreach to students that are on track for graduation and those students who might not be on track for graduation. So some of our evaluation is just making sure we get to the right kids. Having programs that encourage them to explore, you know, their skills and to grow in their skills and talents is a, is a real big effect on the community. Well, what's exciting about this work, um, about engaging in a new way of out-of-school time, I think it's more sustainable for the library's future. So as we learn more about what it means to really do positive youth development, that in 25 years, we'll still be here, we'll still be doing that work, and we'll be perhaps even a more vital, integral part in the whole community.